Today I'd figure I'd redo the export tutorial with some uh with a voice instead of uh instead of just the th other thing. Not other thing. Uh instead of the notepad because a lot of people didn't seem to like that and I hope they like this better. So for your blender version over here on the right monitor, I've got some pages open. I'll put the links to all those pages on there. Uh, to get the blender version you need, you'll get need to get 249A, which I'll put a link and everything. And to download 249A, you just download that, get the installer right there, download it. Shouldn't take more than a couple seconds. That's about 30 seconds. I already have it downloaded, so I'll go get it over here one second. Oh uh, shit. Just open up the installer. Just install it like normal until you get to this screen right here. It'll be uh, uh you'll click the second little bullet thing, use the installation directory. It just changes the directory to the one I use and I've heard people have had problems with the other one and then you just click next, next, finish all the setup and all that. Uh, then you'll need Python 2.62 2.6.2 then if you have a 62-bit computer you download I mean 64-bit computer you download this one right here if you have a 32-bit computer you download right there and just install that normally there's no specific settings to install that one then you'll need to download these ogre plugins right here this will be the mesh export right here it, it just clicking that link will download it and then for the importer you gotta go into here then you gotta click ogre import.py and then you have to click download right here and it'll download it for you keep and everything then here is the node beam imports exports I only use that I'm only get having you guys get that because that's a good way to size your meshes and things for in game and then just download that You'll you'll have to go here, computer, C, program files, blender, foundation, blender, dot blender, scripts, and you just drop it all in there. Just open the zips and drag and drop it into there. You should need to extract it. It should just drag and drop since it's not another zip. Then you just drag and drop everything, including the two folders in this one, and then. You should be good to go on imports, exports, and uh, and uh, you should just be ready to open it up. When you open up Blender, I'll reopen Blender real quick so you see what it looks like when you open it. That little black box opens up. It'll come up with compiled with Python version 2.6.2, checking for installed Python, and it'll say got it. If it says you... Uh, don't have it you did something wrong installing python and i'll explain how to fix that in a different video if the problem arises so you're just gonna open uh... the fire truck i had open a minute ago uh... and it's pretty sized already but to size it you just file import uh... ror importer and that's just moving that up that should be pretty easy to figure out and you just go to uh, the monster truck truck file wherever you have it you might have to extract it from a zip but since I don't have it in the zip I don't have to and it should just import the little node beam thing and you just size your mes meshes to this and this is how wide and tall the truck is really in game and you should have it should be pretty straightforward and after you're done with that you're pretty much done sizing wise just make sure you select every mesh, press Control A, and then go to Scale and Rotation to Object Data. Just to make sure it's scaled right. Just If you don't do that, you could export it sized right, and it might export eight times the size. But that's just to make sure it's all right. And then after you get all that right, you go down here, make it go to a little brown box. It'll say Solid, Wireframe, Bounding Box, Shaded, Textured. You're going to want to click uh, Textured, and it'll make the textures all come up and if anything's like a bright pink not not just like the lines but like a whole thing's bright pink you're gonna have to 
you're gonna have to find the texture for it because if you don't it won't export that section if it's untextured so if it's all <clears throat> if it's all textured you should be uh, good to go exporting wise once it's all textured and you have no problems with it being pink just go to file and go to file import I use ogre 3d mesh importer I'll I'll give you guys a I mean ah, I use I, I went to file export for some reason I'm an idiot file import ogre why do I keep going to import file export ogre meshes I don't know why I kept going to import but I don't know see right here you just name the material file make sure you put dot material after it or it won't come out as the right kind of file when you f first originally use it it'll say rendering material selected you just need to make sure you click game engine materials and you need to click ogre xml converter and then select your directory and all that then you go to preferences it'll be on auto when you first come here it'll be the ogre xml converter location will be on auto make sure you click manual then select the directory of it which should just be in a rigs of your rigs of rods folder and your uh, program files rigs of rods folder and this is just so it will convert it to a mesh automatically and then just click ok and then you should just click export and should export should have no problems if you did it right shouldn't get any kind of error or anything then the file should be right there on your desktop here's the files for it one's the chassis no one's the light on top and the rest is everything else I don't know why I exported the light separately but I did and you should have no problems you just gotta drop all the textures for it and the uh, mesh and everything in the same as the truck file and you should have no problems after that and that's just pretty much how you export should be no difference to it I don't think I forgot anything Pretty sure that's it. Alright then.